Hey you guys, I'm Aubrey from Sailing Miss Lone Star. If you have not been here before, this is an update video. So usually I'm on a sailboat and as you can see here, this is not a sailboat. It could be a sailboat, but not one that I could afford. So as some of you may know, uh, I was struck by lightning and that is why my hair is curly. No, actually my boat was struck by lightning. And um, things have been spontaneously breaking. There were some things that originally broke. If you guys watched the videos, three or four videos before, um, the electrical panel blew all of its sockets out. Um, there was fire and brimstone and we were all scared. Everyone lived, no one died, spoiler alert. I'm here. So um, we had to haul out and we were on the hard for 45 days. And I had never really been concerned about being struck by lightning because it's like getting struck by lightning. It doesn't really happen to people, but it does. Florida is a lightning strike capital of the world. I just made that up, but I'm pretty sure it's true. I met so many people that had been struck by lightning. It was insane. And what they all told me is that things would continue to break and break and break. It's like a little gremlin that runs around chewing things up, eating them, destroying things, pooping all over the place. It's a terrible pet but I have it now, it's mine. And over the last couple weeks, my laptop broke and now my camera, my big beautiful camera for my Sailing Miss Lone Star films, she didn't work anymore. So I knew that I was gonna be putting a video out to you guys a little bit late because I have some things going on behind the scenes that I'm very excited about. So I was good with that. However, I have been filming over the last 47 days on the hard and just kind of showing you what life is like there um, in the parking lot on a sailboat. Not the funnest, but you know, not everything about sailing is fun all the time. As I'm collecting this footage and watching it back, I'm realizing that the lightning gremlin that everybody was telling me was going to slowly break my things finally made it into my camera gear. The sound is missing in some of it and the frames are down to 18 frames per second. It's a little bit glitchy. It's kind of painful to watch and I don't want to put you through that. <laughs> so um, I'll show you some of these things. We're painting the bottom, we're splashing the boat, we're playing with a dog, we're living our lives um, and showing you what that's like on a sailboat that's sometimes on the heart. So that has been um, interesting and not my favorite part of living this life but this is my life every day uncensored unfiltered for you but it was a little painstaking to watch so um my laptop also had to have the logic board replaced because the lightning had fried that as well um, which gave me a little bit of a heart attack but thank goodness it was still under warranty and the cameras that i have to replace is just kind of part of what we do out here on the water there's salt air there's lightning there is water there are two little children and a dog so those things don't last forever anyway and that's why i have patreon thank you guys so much i'm going to keep coming to you in the flesh, I mean, in the pixels every week. But what I wanted to share with you guys is something exciting to me that's going to be a big surprise to you. And I was going to wait until next week, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. I am very, 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 very excited. This is the real deal. I've always wanted to be a captain of a big wooden boat with two masts, and this might be the one. We can put all sorts of hamsters, guinea pigs, skunks, monkeys can live and play in here in our menagerie. I'm gonna put my sunnies on, and you guys are gonna be blinded by the light. It's gonna be great. I'll tell you what, guys, I love her. I'm sailing. There's my mom. <laughs> My mom <laughs> has been the funnest film crew ever. We've laughed so hard, we've gotten very little done. <laughs>
catch you up on what I've been doing this last week on the hard. Um, there's just been daily life. We have been cooking as a family and playing with a dog and trying to figure out ways to get her up the ladder. We ended up putting her back into the water, so maybe next week you might see me sailing her. I also have been very occupied flying and traveling around and checking some things out, but I'm so happy to share it with you just a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoy these little clips that were usable and I'm really happy to be back in the water again, waking up with the kids, hearing the water lap on the hull, our yoga on the deck, our coffee on the deck, our snuggles on the deck is just really special when we're out there on the water. We love it there. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Please. You want five bucks? You already yeah. want five bucks, Mom. Okay, it's gonna be really spicy. You wanna try it? really spicy. I'll do it. You keeping the girls away? <laughs> Is it good? Uh-huh. It's good? Uh -huh. Your eyes watering? Don't swallow that. <laughs> well, that'll keep the girls away. <laughs> More that garlic. That's spicy. out there, you're gonna wanna kill me. But all I have left is olive oil. So there she goes. got some cute coat in jet black and we are going to paint the squares you know why because we're going in the water tomorrow this is the final and last step before you get dipped when you dip by dip we dip no if you were born in the 80s you know <laughs> anyway I'm just gonna do these little last spots and it'll be dry we have prepped we've done all the things that you're gonna comment about in the section below saying did you did you did you yes 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 we did and now we're just gonna brush this paint on. I'm going to try to not get it in my hair. What do you guys think about the black bottom? I mean, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. I like it. She looks sexy. She looks sleek. She looks, I mean, black is slimming, so we've on her little butt. She looks good. If you can't tone it, tan it, or wear black. Let's do this. Okay, gotta wear protection and glove up. Would you let me do brain surgery on you? No. Yes. Yes, I will get all up in there. Now we added thinner to this um, when, before we put it away so that it didn't dry up. This is a nice little little bit of paint left. Uh, usually the all the good stuff kind of gets stuck at the bottom. So you wanna stir it before you put it on. I know you guys come here for all of your how-tos. I learned everything that I know from Dan on Sailing Uma. Do I really? Is it on my lips? We've anti-fouled my face. Looking good. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I like this black, it looks good. So, this may or may not have been leftover paint from one of the uh, Superpower Mega Extra Fancy Yachts. So, it is good stuff. Extra ablative 
for the barnacle's pleasure. So last time we were painting the bottom of the boat, we were discussing boat mascots. And this black paint reminds me of that pet skunk I wanted. I called you guys and I heard that it's an excellent pet for a boat. I also inquired about a fox and I was told that that is a terrible idea for a boat. So we're on the fence. Leave a comment. I would like something to make me laugh every morning when I wake up. I was kind of thinking maybe a hairless cat, but again, I'm back to stinky poop. I just stepped in the paint can lid. Our hoops. I just took my shoes off so that they were not ruined because they're new flipper floppers. Arts and crafts, right? Yeah, it's like giant scrapbooking.
Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and following me on Patreon. I'll see you guys next week. I'm coming out. I want the work to know. Okay. Uh, right, tell so me what it is. Please take that off. Kill me. You're recording. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I stop putting it on record. Okay. Have a drink. I'm not going to talk to you. 189 uh, square feet. Uh, no. No. Uh, what you want? Okay. What you want with us? <laughs> Alright, cut. Pause. Pause. Cut. Cut.